So what's up guys? I was not planning to make any video tonight, um, but I'm alone. It's Halloween night and something just happened and I'm kind of scared. So I wanted to have you guys with me tonight. So yeah, I'm going to show you what happened right now and you will see why I'm scared. He's done for. This was the last moment of peace Antoine had before driving off into the night into what can only be called a nightmare. <sighs> wow. That's horrible. I am so scared right now. Then why don't you run away? Oh, it's huge, it's huge. All right, this is very, very scary. Very, very scary. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, it's horrible. It's horrible. Okay, I think it's going to attack me, so I'm just gonna run away now. Yeah, I'm running away. Run! It's right behind you! So in case you don't know, I am super, super, super scared of spiders. Like, you have no idea how scared I am of spiders. Like, I wanted to take a video of it just because um, it was daytime and stuff, but um, I am super scared. If you saw our second episode of Galactic Hunter, you might know that uh, we once had a big ass spider here, which was, I believe, a camel spider. And uh, I was really, really scared that day. So. Yeah, since that day, it's been like almost three years now, I think, or more. I am so afraid to see another spider here. And I just did, and I'm alone, so, yeah. So I won't lie to you, I almost turned back and went back home because I heard it was mating season. And um, so my guess is that just walking on the streets like that uh, to find mates or maybe to feel uh, warmer during sunset. But it's so weird because it's been like three years now and I have not seen any spider like that uh, during sunset because uh, I always drive here during sunset with Dahlia and we never saw that so I'm really afraid. But anyway, tonight I'm, I won't plan to make any cool videos and right now what I'm doing is I'm going to balance the telescope. So first I'm putting my camera which is going to be here all night uh, on the scope and then I'm going to put on um, my my ASI Air right here and my uh, Astro Pocket Power Box from Pegasus. I think it's amazing by the way, I love it so much. And um, not forget the, the guide scope. And then I'm going to attach the guide camera. It's, it almost weighs nothing, but it still matters because everything you know, adds up together. So you really want to find a good balancing, um, you know, accurate balancing. I guess I'm lucky. Ah uh, no. Hopefully the balancing is perfect now. Come on. That's yeah, fine. And then this side now. That looks fine to me. Woo! Okay. Tonight is Halloween, and Antoine should have stayed at home.
The target I chose to image tonight is the Pac-Man Nebula. But first, I really wanted to try to capture the Helix Nebula, also called the Isle of God, before it is gone for the year. This target is really low in the sky and I won't be able to spend a lot of time on it, but it should be bright enough to look nice. I'm also going to attempt bicolor imaging for the first time. Little does he know, a monster is gonna come from beyond those bushes. A mouse. Spook level 1000. So I'm doing the collimation now. By the way, I got really scared last time because my uh, my laser lost its batteries, so it was almost dying last time, and I was afraid I could not collimate my scope. But um, I bought some new batteries online, so now it's very bright again, so I can see it. So if you have a scope like mine, like a really really fast, like f3.9 for example, uh, reflector telescope, you really need to collimate every time. Don't forget that, guys. And we have a video, by the way, about how to collimate in like 90 seconds. So it's really easy. And here I'm doing the second part, which is eclipsing this little laser dot in the center. There we go. That looks good to me. I'm always like paranoid it's not centered enough, but... And now I'm just gonna lock that. I really love the colors of the Nevada desert uh, sunsets. We have the moon setting as well, and Jupiter and, uh, and Saturn as well. We already imaged the Helix Nebula in 2017 with our DSLR camera, and here was the result. This time, I'll be using our monochrome camera with the HA and O3 filters. Oh, and also, about half of the total exposure time. I am using the ASI Air, and you're about to see the first shot popping up. Nice. But this is unguided, so I'm gonna try guided and see. So my guiding is really, really bad, as usual. I really have to fix that. Um, but it's really bad, as you can see. But I mean, the stars themselves are like pretty nice, so I mean they're pretty round, so that's fine. Anyway, um, so let me just turn this around. Hey, Antoine seems to have calmed down a little from all that stuff from earlier, but why not send in a horde of mosquitoes to infiltrate the car and bother him a little more? One down, seven to go. So since I'm really really bored um, and I have two hours to kill until the next target, I'm just going to read, well this is my own book actually, with Dahlia. Um, this is to learn the constellations. And even though I, I know most of them, I always, I realize that I always forget them. Like, I don't forget the, the popular ones, but the... The faint constellations, like, I, I can learn them, like I can learn like dozens of them and feel confident about them. But after like six months, for example, like I start to forget and it's really hard to find them in the, in the sky. So I guess I'm just gonna read that all the time now, I guess. Um, I mean, just maybe one day I can r finally um, have them all memorized completely, hopefully. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna read that for two hours and you can change targets. Still going strong there. So I'm doing bicolor for the first time actually. So um, I'm doing 15 on HA, 15 on O3. So now I'm starting O3. So this is what the O3 looks like, three minutes. And I just realized that I completely forgot to change the gain. That's the gain I was using for a cluster last time. And I'm supposed to use a different gain for a narrow band and I'm so angry at myself. But I'm not sure how much of an impact it's gonna have, but we'll see. All right guys, it is now 10.30 p.m. I only did two hours on, uh, what was it, the Helix Nebula. 
I tried the Iris Nebula, but it was too it was getting too low as well. So now I'm doing the Pac-Man Nebula, which uh, I don't really I'm not really a fan of it on the target, but um, it's looking rather nice. This is the HA. I'm afraid I put it too high, but um, for some reason I'm, I'm hoping the O3 will be the O3 gas is all on this side. So I'm doing two hours on this one as well. So one hour of, of HA, one hour of O3, and I think. Um, We'll figure out if, I mean, I'm hoping once it reaches uh, 20, it's going to switch to O3, and I'm hoping there's going to be more gas on the bottom. And as you can see, my guiding is less worse than uh, than earlier, so I'm guessing on the east side is a bit better. <sighs> I'm going to have to investigate that. But it's so, so cold. It's really cold, so I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to play games on my phone, and... Uh, Right now it is 10.30, I'm here until 12.30 at least, so yeah, we'll see. Well, it's almost midnight, and me, I'm here in the comfort of my warm cozy home. Antoine, not so much. Hopefully he'll bring back a beautiful image, but we won't know until he gets here, and he's got no service or internet, so I wonder if he's a little bored out there. I'm pretty sure he's playing games on his phone. Okay, we're about to find out. That's the first 03 shot. Two seconds left. It's going to download. I really hope there's some gas. Oh no. Wow, can't see anything. I was hoping to see some gas over here on the bottom, but now I'm probably too high. Well, I'm gonna have to deal with it. That's fine. Okay, one more hour. Okay, it's 1 a.m., um, I have to go eat. And I have an hour drive, so I'm gonna go. If you don't know what to do in the field, like Sky Safari Pro is really nice. Like, you can really see, like, you can really learn uh, a bunch of stuff. Like, I've just spent the last uh, hour or so just going to uh, random objects, just look for stuff and listen to, uh, to the information and stuff. And it's really nice. Anyway, um,. I decided to do like an, uh, 30 minutes on M103 to end the night and um, I have like 3 minutes left so I'm gonna go now and I'm really tired so I'm actually also I'm really scared to pack so spiders and all that so I'm alone it's gonna be hard so yeah I'm gonna pack really 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 quick I packed really 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 quick so afraid that the light would attract the spiders like it did a couple of years ago. Sit back, relax, and wait a couple of seconds to see another creature freak Antoine out. In three, two... No, she's joking. It would not have been funny. I never even looked around me, just focused on packing up very fast and left in a hurry. The Helix Nebula turned out great. I was able to do 45 minutes using the HA filter and 45 minutes using the O3 filter for a total exposure time of 1 hour and 30 minutes. I am glad it looks better than our last attempt with our DSLR camera, where we had twice as much data. Thankfully, when stacking the images, what I was hoping for happened. I framed the object a little high because I was expecting some gas to be towards the bottom as well and it appeared after stacking. Now, the image looks properly framed. The final result is okay, but not spectacular. You really need more than two hours on this. Lastly, something unexpected happened when checking my AM103 files. You can see a reflection from a very bright star, Rukba, from the constellation Cassiopeia. We decided to not crop it out, as it gives the overall image a very unique feel and makes this cluster a little bit less boring looking. 
Okay, so I think everything turned out pretty well. Um, I like I mean, the pack. I guess it turned out well. It's not great. It's not it's amazing. amazing. It's not perfect. Okay, move from here. Okay, so as I was saying, I think everything turned out pretty well. <coughs> it was really unplanned, but um, hopefully it was good, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. So, clear skies. Clear skies. Clear skies. Thank you.